This is a force traveler, but this is not a standard force traveler. It is a heavily modified one and this has literally become a house on wheels. Let me show you some cool bits about this caravan now. When you're traveling in this force caravan, you have this nice TV over here in which you can sit and watch movies or YouTube videos. There's also Wi-Fi and a proper home theater system for your entertainment and of course your friend's entertainment. I'm watching my favorite video on this TV right now. If you feel you're getting too warm inside and uh, you need some cold air, some cold climate, all you have to do is uh, switch on the AC over here. So when the vehicle is running, the central AC works and uh, when the vehicle is stopped, I mean the, when the engine is stopped, there's a split AC over here which actually comes into action and chills the cabin. Apart from the AC, there's this panel over here which has the controls for all the switches and all the lights in the cabin of this uh, vehicle. And uh, if, you, if you think the vehicle has stopped at some really cool place, you want to have some nice view of the scenery, you can also open up this window over here. Basically, you can open up these blinds and get a nice view of what's around. That's a pretty cool view. Now, if you are going camping in this caravan, you will obviously feel hungry. Or jab kuch khane ka man karega, banane ka, then you can make use of this kitchen over here. So there's a microwave which is placed at the top of this uh, kitchen thing. There's a sink over here and there's a small refrigerator also at the bottom part. Now, when you're traveling in this caravan, you're out on a road trip and you get a call from nature. Then how do you answer nature's call? Well, you do that by just opening this door over here. Now you're sitting here comfortably, but if you want to say something to the driver, you want to convey some instructions, how do you do it? Well, you just press this button over here. And with this, you can talk to the driver through this intercom system. Hello driver, Mujhe le ladak le chalo. Chalo. Now this is a pretty cool caravan, but by chance, if you think someone is kidnapping you, all you have to do is make use of this SOS button over here and you'll get some nice help. You travel in this caravan all day long, but if you want to get out and unwind in the nature's beauty, then all you have to do is set up this tent which comes with the caravan, sit here and enjoy the view, have some nice food and play some karaoke with your friends. Camping is fun, but what makes it even better is the fact that you can set up this BBQ which comes with the caravan and grill some nice paneer or pineapple or maybe chicken. The driver of this caravan gets a control system over here. So these are all the switches for controlling all the electronics inside the cabin. So you can, you know, toggle the lights, the electronics, the Wi-Fi, the AC, all of these things using these uh, switches over here. There's a main switch also somewhere over here and there's a basic infotainment system for the driver's entertainment. Apart from that, uh, when the driver wants to take a nap, when he wants to sleep, he can make use of this bed over here this vehicle runs on diesel but of course all the electronics are powered by an external battery and just in case some electrical issue happens the driver can take full control of all the electronics using the switches over here this force caravan actually comes with a chauffeur but uh, being an auto enthusiast i actually wanted to try it out and see how it drives so this is powered by 2.6 liter diesel engine making around 130 horses and probably around 350 newton meters of torque this is made into a five speed manual and i'm actually enjoying the driving experience it is something different and uh, surprisingly this feels quite easy to drive once you get the hang of all the dimensions of this vehicle the steering is very light and uh, the ride quality is also surprisingly good and it actually feels quite comfortable the suspension is tuned to be on the softer side and wow this is an amazing experience driving such a long vehicle on our roads so yeah of course the diesel engine does make a lot of noise it is the characteristic of this diesel engine but uh, apart from that maneuvering such a big vehicle through tight city roads might be a task which is why you know you get a driver with this and of course you and your friends might want to travel in luxury don't want to take the hassle of driving but i'm actually enjoying the raw feel that the force traveler offers not a lot of comfort features and obviously it feels quite basic the whole cabin and the whole experience feels very raw and personally i like driving such kind of vehicles which you know uh, put make the driver put a lot more effort compared to a conventional com comfortable car and uh, i'm sure most people will enjoy sitting in the rear and traveling in comfort compared to driving this vehicle and yeah the cabin itself is not very ergonomic the pedals are placed in a very odd position so your legs might pain a bit and the seat also is quite flat and it cannot be adjusted a lot but visibility outside is very good and Yes, that makes the whole experience very entertaining for me. So yes, that's about it. Let me know your thoughts on this vehicle in the comment section below.